Make my machine healing forever. If you contemplate upon the meaning of Khalifa, you will understand. Allah says that He made you Khalifa. And there's a lot of responsibility put upon your shoulders. You are expected from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to behave like His king appointed on the earth. If you will behave like him, his Khalifa, then everything between heaven and earth will obey you. Then you are the one, everything will serve you. How it is possible? How it is possible? Every man born, every child born is not a Khalifa. You have to develop who is a Khalifa, what are the properties. A Khalifa is a, an image, a mirror of the qualities, character, power, wisdom of his king, his sheikh. You know, his chief, it is very, very essential. A Khalifa is the one who inherits the qualities, power, authority of his chief or king or his sheikh. Therefore, you have been nominated. You are every individual who is a Muslim is a designated Khalifa. The non Muslims, the road is open for them. Come and hold fast rope of Allah. Believe in Quran. This is for you and me and everybody. If you are a Muslim, then you must try to behave like Khalifatullah and develop those qualities which should be in a Khalifa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is Rahman. As Rahman, He shows His mercy to all. To all. Hindu, Sikhs, Christian, Jews, rejectors and kafirs and devi deviates, no, deviates, I'm sorry. All the animals, good and bad, snakes and swine. Pigeons and doves and peacocks all receive provisions from him. Therefore, you must cultivate the quality of Raham, the mercy in you. You must become merciful. You must show mercy to all. If you wish to be accepted as Khalifatullah, you must be generous. This is a subject where the walis, awliya, the sufiya comes. They teach you that it is only possible that if you cleanse your inside, your, your evil commanding self, nafs from all the evil attributes which are not found in Allah. Allah is hayy wa qayyum. You know, Allah Jawad wa Rahim, Ghani, Hamid. All these attributes you have written here. But he is not jealous. He doesn't hate anybody. Allah, you have to cleanse yourself all the evil attributes which are within you. That is jealousy, hatred, lying, arrogance, anger. Love for ungodly, love for the world, all these things. This is what the Sufis or Walis of Allah teach. This is what skip by all take a stand with my feet firm. I'll fight for it till there's no life in me left.